Hi there, this is Maher here. So in this uh, video, I would like to show you how you can make the PUBG Mobile pink latency to be stable. A lot of people who are especially wireless ISPs or ISPs providers, they would like that uh, the PUBG Mobile to stay stable, the pink. The problem is that most of people when they uh, play PUBG Mobile, the traffic of that game will come in queue and wait for the other traffic to pass, which makes the uh, ping very high, and especially when there is a lot of traffic happening in the network. So how we can do that? Actually, we cannot change the ping which is coming from your ISP. So in case your ISP is giving you internet service with a ping of 20 milliseconds or 50 milliseconds or 80 milliseconds, we cannot change that. What we can do, we can do from our network inside that we let the PUBG pass fast from our network inside to go to the ISP internet services. So that's something we can do using the fast track. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to make a, a an address list, put all PUBG servers on uh, the address list and then let only the traffic going to the PUBG to be fast tracked. What is fast track? Fast track that helps so the traffic of PUBG will not pass through the firewall, meaning it will bypass the connection tracking, it will bypass the firewall rules, it will bypass the queuing, so it just go on the router very fast, which makes our router first CPU less, but also makes the traffic to go much faster to go to the internet, and we make that specifically only for PUBG. You better not do it for all your traffic, otherwise you will have problems in case you are using firewalling like NAT or Firewall Rouge or you're using queuing because the traffic which is fast tracked this will bypass all those rules. So let's go directly and show you what we have to do. So first let me show you I have PUBG here open so I will go to my phone let me open my phone and uh, I will drag it to here so that is my phone now and you can see this is the PUBG mobile and actually I don't play it but just for this lab and you can see here it's 20 milliseconds at this moment there is no any connection from other people so I'm just connecting my phone wirelessly to the router that I'm going to work on and on this router I also am connecting my uh, computer. All right, so you can see it's 20 milliseconds. It's very nice, very clear, and very clean. Then now, what I'm going to do, I first have to go and make a queue. Say that I want to say that for this whole network, which is 192.168.1.0, that's my LAN. So actually, I have a bridge. I put inside of it the wireless and the LAN. And on that bridge, I have put an IP address, 192.168.1.0. One, so that is from that network. So I'm saying that on this line, I want to limit, let's make it very small, 512 kilobit per second on upload, 512 kilobit per second on download. Perfect. So now if we go back to the PUBG, we can see, because I still don't have other traffic, so the 20 millisecond is still there because PUBG doesn't take that much of traffic. It doesn't take 512. I'm, I'm not sure how much it takes approximately maybe we can check here it's so around 20 25 by 25 average all right so uh, that's that's fine so meaning that's no problem so what i'm going to do now i'm going to go to download i'm going to download a big file i have started uh, previously downloading ubuntu so let's just uh, um, resume the download and uh, in this case we can see that the download has to affect our PUBG ping. And uh, if we look now, so that is the speed, it's getting full speed. And if I go to the queue, you can see the queue became red. And if I go back to the PUBG, I can see that it jumped to 103 millisecond, 100, 103 millisecond. So meaning when we have a lot of traffic in our network, then the ping of the PUBG would go high. And we are going to have a lot of traffic, right? So people are, some doing browsing, some doing video calls, some, some, some. So what we have to do now, we have to just capture all the uh, PUBG traffic in a way to make them fast track. Then they will not bypass anymore through the firewall and through the queue, and then the ping will go much faster. So how to do that? What I have done already, 
So I'm going to leave the pink open now, uh, actually, and also the download. So what I'm going to, well, I have done already, actually. So it's just on the firewall here, I have made the PUBG servers, collected them. So I'm going to leave that for you on the description of this video. So you can just copy paste them. Then you get all the PUBG inside an address list. Then what I'm going to do now, I'm going to go to IP firewall on filter rule and create and chain forward, meaning the traffic going from my inside to the internet, that's forward. Anything going to the PUBG address list, which are the servers, as TCP, then make them fast track connection. That's one. And we shall see in a moment that this will have to start making uh, traffic. So here we go. And now make another one, copy. Anything going to the address list PUBG as UDP because PUBG use UDP and TCP, then fast track connection. And here we go. So we are done. Now, if we go back to the download to see, the download is still ongoing. So you can see, and the queue, we can check the queue. If we go from here, it's still red. Now let's go to the PUBG to see what is now the, uh, let's have a look. Okay, perfect. So you can see that it has dropped again to 20 milliseconds. So um, it's amazing. So um, I'm looking on my phone here. It looks like 50 or, but it's 20 milliseconds. Maybe if I make it bigger, it shows better. Not really. Oh yeah, 20 milliseconds. So it's 20 milliseconds. So even though that we do have a lot of download happening now and uh, the bandwidth is saturated, but the PUBG traffic is not having any problem so it's still passing and the ping is stable so this is all what i wanted to show you in this short video it's a very nice way to make the pubg quality for your customers to be better just uh, you can uh, do it uh, with a fast track you just fast track pubg traffic and life is good so if you like my way of teaching please don't forget to make like and to put a comment and subscribe to my channel and please uh, click on the bell to get uh, updated by my new videos when they are uploaded. And also please don't forget to go to mynetworktraining.com and become a member to be able to watch all my video courses. So thank you very much for the time you spent watching this video and see you in another one.